Someone asked this question on Quora, asking people how they made their first million dollars and how can they repeat that process. I was instantly hooked by the answers and went into a deep rabbit hole looking for more such questions. I spent the whole night going through Quora and Reddit, scanning through similar questions, and the most commonly used approach people use to make their first one million dollars. To my surprise, most people had a very similar approach to making their first big money. In this video, I'll talk about the six most common ways rich people use on their road to millions. The first most common way was to make an above average salary while investing in mutual funds and living below their means. Using this approach means it will take at least 10 years or more to see a significant rise in your wealth using the power of compound interest and capital gains. While the most used, this one also seemed the safest way out of all to make your first million dollars. The only thing you had to take care of was to avoid any big personal finance mistakes and blunders. The millionaires in this category mentioned they avoided huge loans, credit card debts, and avoided overexposing themselves to risk. This meant they diversified their investment portfolio by not sticking to just one kind of stock or industry. They mentioned contributing factors like taking good care of your health to avoid huge medical bills in the future. People very repeatedly mentioned choosing the right life partner so you don't end up losing all your wealth in divorce and legal proceedings. Not to anyone's surprise, most people in this category were doctors, engineers, lawyers, and traders. This is a boring yet slow and steady approach to becoming a millionaire in a reasonable time without taking uncalculated risks. It works great for people who like the feeling of control and certainty over their lives. The only thing you need is to be reasonably good at what you do, raking in a decent salary, not living extravagantly, and investing steadily over the years. The second way most people made their first million was by owning stocks in a successful startup. Although many people became millionaires this way, most of them were not investors at all. When you're working in an early stage startup, you get something called ESOPs. In simple words, you also get to own shares in that startup along with the salary you get. So when the company gets sold to another big company or the company goes public and gets a series of big investments, you get the chance to exit your position in the company for huge capital gains. Most people in this category said, if you're working in a high quality startup with a great work culture, if you're in a safe enough position to support yourself with a good salary, then take any chance to earn shares in the company over cash. It's common sense that the founder of the company will make the most amount of money since they take the majority of the risk. But early stage employees who own stock options can easily make millions in a good liquidity event. One such startup employee directly went from 200,000 net worth to $3 million in liquid cash because the startup filed an IPO. Remember, the more risk you assume, the better reward you'll get. The third most common way people became millionaires was by investing in the right stock at the right time. One of the answers by a person said they bought NVIDIA stock at $17 a share in 2011. After that, the stock traded in a loss position for two years and 10 months. Guess what? At the time I'm writing this script, the NVIDIA stock trades above $850. That is above 7,600% return on investment. Pretty good, right? If you train yourself on identifying companies with good fundamentals and learn to time yourself right, you can make your first $1 million very realistically. To help you out, I would recommend Zero to Varsity as a free resource to learn both fundamental and technical analysis from the very foundations to identify such opportunities. You get guided modules, articles, live classes, and much more without paying anything, so shout out to them for great work. It's important to keep in mind that it's not about luck. Many people fall into this trap of picking companies they think are good for the future, but it's not the right approach. One of the greatest investors, Warren Buffett, made billions in the investment world, not just by identifying good companies, but by buying them for cheap. What it means is that you need to buy a great company when it's trading below its intrinsic value so you can make those multi-bagger returns on your investments. But how do you find the intrinsic value of a stock? Don't worry, I'll list some great free resources down in the description for you to take a look at. The fourth way most people made their first million dollars was through family inheritance. I know this is not something you can control and is completely dependent on luck, but still, 
it cannot be ignored, although the majority of millionaires that exist in the world are self-made. There's a good chunk who got all their wealth from inheritance. There are a lot of mixed opinions regarding inheriting big sums of money. Many people will say, you didn't deserve the money or you didn't make it yourself. I believe there's nothing wrong with the fact that someone in your family tree broke out of poverty and was able to provide a good life for the coming generation. But remember, it's not a repeatable process for people who are not born with a silver spoon. The most common behavior I noticed is that most people who get their money through inheritance, whether it's from their parents or deceased relatives, tend to pay off their debts and buy a house outright. The fifth way people made their first one million was through high commission-based jobs. One of the millionaires who answered got employed by a sports and media agency at the age of 27 and became a sports agent working on commission. He got a basic salary of $50,000 and made a 7.5% commission on clients who were getting contracts worth $73 million. So if you are able to position yourself as someone who is good at selling and partnering with the right people, it's very practical to make your first $1 million super fast. This is where the power of networking comes in. People with great networks often tend to be great salesmen. You can start by joining online forums and communities regarding your interests, but increasing your real-life network is super important to get opportunities like the person we talked about. This is where sites like meetup.com come in, where you can find physical events and meetups happening around you by people having similar interests. The sixth most common way people made their first $1 million was by having a real estate portfolio. There is no shortage of successful Airbnb stories on the internet. The person who wrote the longest answer talks about how he accumulated 11 buildings worth $3.5 million starting from scratch. Here are some pro tips from one of the seasoned real estate investors. Buy the worst house in the best neighborhood, not the best house in the worst neighborhood. If you're rehabbing a house, always know there's a lot of difference between rehabbing for a rental property and rehabbing for a buyer. Spend more money if you're looking for a buyer. Try to underspend and wait for a property you can reasonably afford to spend money on. Choosing a good real estate agent is more important than the brokerage they work for. Always get a home inspection, even if it's a newly constructed property. Things like house paint and furniture are not as important as room positioning and traffic because they can be quite expensive to change. There you have it. Six diverse pathways that individuals have taken to make their first million dollars. Whether it's through disciplined saving and investing in mutual funds, getting in on the ground floor of a promising startup, timing the stock market perfectly, receiving a family inheritance, excelling in high commission jobs, or building a lucrative real estate portfolio. Each method has its own set of challenges and rewards. What's crucial here is to recognize that while the paths are different, the common themes include discipline, risk management, and an understanding of where value lies. Whether you're investing in stocks, working in a startup, or managing properties, understanding the market and making educated decisions is key. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to making your first million, but learning from the successes and failures of others can significantly enhance your chances. Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. It's your journey. And perhaps today is a great day to start walking your path to that first million. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. For more insights and detailed discussions on each method, check out the resources listed in the description below. See you around.